hey guys today in this eShop series we are going to start link first we will see what is link link basically stands for language integrated query it used for writing queries over local object collections and remote data sources collections such as array list and then xml dom remote data sources then for link we have two syntaxes one is flaunt syntax and second is query syntax Currently, we will use flaunt syntax and then we will move forward towards query syntax. So, we are going to use flaunt syntax and by using this syntax, I am going to share with you a few basic introductory queries. First, let's save long names in this long names variable in which I am going to save all those names whose length is greater than 4. Names dot where where is an extension method and its functionality of link link giving us 42 plus functions which we can implement to query now in this where clause i'm going to define a condition by using lambda expressions also we can say in where clause we can pass predicates now the scope of this x variable is only inside this where clause this query will save all those names whose length is greater than 4 in long names variable now let's print it as you can see first for each loop prints all the names and the second for each loop prints those names whose length is greater than 4 first i have written single function of link now i'm going to write multiple link functions in the same query for example, now I want to write a query in which I want to print those names whose length is greater than 4 and they must be in uppercase. First of all, I need to write the same query. Then I need to write another function to modify all the values. For that, I'm going to write select function. In this select function, we going to pass func delegate. Now, if we see these two x variables in both the lambda expressions of where and select, these both are different and they both are defined in their own scope. So, they are not dependent on each other. But just to avoid the confusion, I'm going to change the second x to y. So, where clause will have predicate delegate and select clause will have func type delegate. That's why where clause will return true or false and select will return a particular value now let's print this upper names variable now this is called method chaining by using flawed syntax now in this method chaining we can apply another function too for example here i can use order by so first it will apply this where clause on it by which it will get all the names which have length greater than 4 and then it will convert all those names one by one into uppercase and then third it will order all those names and then we just print it in our for each loop so link basically execute in such way first function's output becomes input of second function and second function output becomes input for third function now let's compile it as you can see these three names are transformed by these three functions they are in uppercase they are having length greater than four and they are in order Okay, after the font syntax, now we need to explore query syntax. Query syntax is similar like SQL queries, but structure is a bit different. So let's explore it together. For example, again we have a variable long name. Now our query syntax start by from. Next we have a range variable on which we iterate. Like here we have name then in then we have a list name next if we want to apply filter on this query then we will use where clause and next we need to select name now let's print these values of long names let's execute it as you can see it's printed all the names which have length greater than 4 so our filter is working by using query syntax now we can add more conditions or filters in query syntax too so let's copy this previous query first 
now we will have this variable name is sorted name and after the where clause i'm going to use order by clause now this range variable name will come after the from and after in we use our collection that is names now this all name are seems like same but they are not why first it will see from name in names it will get all the names from this collection and then there is a where clause where clause will uh, extract all the names which have length greater than 4 and save in its name variable which have scope of this where clause then we have order by clause in order by clause name variable have all the sorted values which selected in select clause so these all the name variables in four clauses get modified one by one now at the time of execution dot net convert this query into lambda expression and then execute it so we can write query syntax and flaunt syntax for the same query it's up to our convenience let me write the same query with flaunt syntax so here i have written this flaunt syntax just to make you understand that at the time of execution our query syntax will convert it into flaunt syntax Another purpose of comparing these both the syntax is that I want to explain you we can't use query syntax everywhere because it have its limitations so we definitely move towards flaunt like in query syntax we can write where select select many order by then by order by descending then by descending group by join group join we can use these things in it but our other syntax like first or default we can't write them in the query syntax so we definitely move forward towards flaunt syntax or sometimes we need to mix these both the syntax to get our desired results like in query syntax if we want to use a first or default then we use flaunt syntax with our query syntax for example if i want to get first name in both the queries then in flaunt syntax i will simply write first after order by clause but in query syntax we can't get first name directly so in this case we will use our mix syntax so after writing the complete query enclose it in brackets and then we will use this dot first to get the first name of this names collection so this is our mix syntax in which we use our Query syntax and then to get first name we use flaunt syntax now obviously you guys get confused so let me tell you that which syntax will be best for you when you have simple queries then you should go for the flaunt syntax but when you have a bit complicated and you need to use joins then you must go with the query syntax but query syntax is a bit limited so after using the joins we can mix them with the flaunt syntax to get desired result also you need to choose the syntax which is more readable for you uh, if we use query syntax then obviously our query syntax will also convert it into flaunt syntax at the time of compilation that's why we can mix our flaunt and query syntax to get our desired results hope you understand the difference between both the syntax and get the clear idea how you can mix up these both the syntax and how you can use them individually next we have some common functions in link now let's explore them one function we have in link is first it will return the first element from the list but if element don't exist in the list then it will return the exception then alternative of this we have another function which is first or default if first element exists return that element otherwise return null so in this case exception will not raise if the element not exist in the list if we want to get last element from the list then we will use this dot last function but again in this case if the list is empty it will raise exception now again alternative of this we have last or default if our list is empty then it will not raise the exception but it will return the null then we have count which will return the total number of elements present in a sequence 
डोट लेंथ फंक्शन इज एरे फंक्शन बट डोट काउंट इज आर लिंक फंक्शन देन वी हैव अ मिन फंक्शन टू गेट मिनिमम वैल्यू फ्रॉम द सीक्वेंस देन देर विल बी अ मैक्स फंक्शन विच वी रिटर्न मैक्सिमम वैल्यू फ्रॉम द सीक्वेंस then we can use skip function also to skip few elements from the list or sequence for example here i skip two elements from the sequence and get last three if we want to get first two elements from the sequence then we will use take function Now if we want to see any element exist in a sequence or not then we will use any If element exist in the sequence then this any function will return true We can also use this any function on specific value like this Then we have a function concat which will concatenate both the sequence sequence 1 and sequence 2 then there is a union function we can use it it exactly applied like a, a mathematical union for example this union function will remove all the duplications but in concat we can have duplicated values so these are the few common functions in our uh, link hope you understand the basic difference of flaunt syntax and uh, query syntax and get basic idea about these common functions in a uh, link if you have any confusion or query you can ask in comments and if you like this lecture then please like subscribe and share my channel thanks for watching